Finally, Apple's new iPhone X supports Qi wireless charging so it works with just about all the equipment that's already out there. On top of that, however, Apple has a new charging mat that's capable of charging an iPhone X, an Apple Watch, and AirPods, with an optional new wireless charging case, all at the same time on one mat. Portrait mode is also enhanced, with a new portrait lighting feature that lets you add lighting effects to your portrait mode shots. But it's not just the rear cameras that get exciting new features related to depth effects. Around front, the true depth camera also lets you take selfies in portrait mode. Face ID is an enhanced facial recognition feature that utilizes Apple's new True Depth camera system. It features eight different cameras and sensors that combine to instantly recognize the owner's face. The new A11 Bionic chip features a built in neural engine that powers the system. Importantly, the system still works if you're wearing glasses, if you change your hair or even if you grow a beard. Low light also isn't a problem, since there's an infrared element. We knew this one was coming, of course, and Apple has replaced all of the home button's functionality with gestures. For example, a swipe up from the bottom brings you to the home screen. Or, you can swipe up from the bottom and pause to open the app switcher. Ditching the home screen allowed Apple to produce a phone with an all-screen front, and it's a welcome change. Apple's first iPhone with an OLED display is finally here, and the Super Retina display is a sight to behold. It measures 5.8 inches diagonally, and it features a pixel density of 458 ppi with a 1,000,000,000 colon 1 color ratio. It's also a true tone screen, which means it automatically adjusts its color temperature based on the lighting you're in at any given time. The iPhone X has a 12 megapixel wide angle lens and a second telephoto lens for zooming. Apple says it offers huge improvements over the cameras we saw in the iPhone 7 Plus, which was the first to offer a telephoto lens. Also expect to see less shaky videos, improved pictures in low light, and more. Also, a new front-facing true depth camera is capable of taking those fancy portrait shots that debuted on the iPhone 7 Plus, which create a blurred background bokeh effect that looks much more professional. The iPhone X, iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus are the first iPhones to support wireless charging. Qi, the standard Apple chose, is typically very slow. But Apple has the power to bring wireless charging pads everywhere, from retailers to restaurants, and I suspect it's about to take off now that it's finally in an iPhone. Apple says it's still working on perfecting some wireless tech, too, so perhaps it'll be much faster when it launches. This ties into facial recognition but is fun enough that it deserves its own spot on the list. Apple developed new animoji that allow you to create short clips of your own emotions and send them off as emojis to friends and family. Maybe you'll make a silly face with the pig emoji, for example, Apple's facial recognition tech will help the emoji resemble the exact expressions you're making.